Hi, my name's John, and welcome to another Zeros Ones video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an SSL certificate on your Linux shared hosting WordPress site. So I'm going to show you how to do this on a, I'm using one and one hosting as my provider, and they're offering what they call their managed SSL certificate for free to all anybody who's got a hosting package with them. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you how to set this up. And it's going to be on a WordPress. I'm using actually it's WordPress version 4.7 and I'm running PHP 5.6. Also I think my SQL is 5.6 also. So to start what you want to do and a little bit about uh, this SSL certificate. It's a, what's called an SNI SSL certificate. It stands for Server Name. Uh, what is it? Server Name Indication. It's a way to, on a shared resource, on a shared server with one IP address, you can use different certificates and assign them by domain name. So anyways, they're, they're offering this for free and here's how you set it up. First thing you want to do is log into your hosting providers interface here. I'm using again one and one hosting. So I'm going to log in. So once I'm logged into my account, what I have to do is uh, request them to set up the SSL certificate for the domain. And what I want to do is come down here to SSL certificates and click on that link. And again, I'm going to request them to set it up. And it'll if you have multiple domains, they'll be listed in here. And then the one you want to select, I only have one domain, so this is going to apply to this domain. It's it's the SSL starter. So I'm going to select this and then say set up SSL certificate. Click on that. And then come down here. Again, it's included. It's free. So I'm going to go activate now. This usually doesn't take too long. And here I have to select the domain. This is the one I'm going to be doing. And now here, and, and again, with one in one hosting, it's going to change your FTP server name. So you're going to want to click on this and get this information because you're going to need to change your FTP client. So you'll be able to connect when you want to update anything via FTP. So you want to get these credentials. So I mean, you want to click on this link and get these credentials. Okay, I've clicked on that and I've got my uh, new server name for my FTP client and now I'm going to say the set up the SSL certificate. Oops, got to click on the terms. Here, I'm sorry, here we got to click on I've read the terms and now set up. We'll see how long this takes. Receive your order. I'm going to click on OK. It actually says it's already done. Domain is secure. Well, let's go take a look. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just minimize this. I'm going to launch a browser. I've already got the website set up. Here's the website I'm going to. And I'm going to hit refresh. And again, it's not showing up as anything. 
So I'm, I'm going to try to see if the HTTPS is working. So I'm going to type in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash and hit enter. Okay. It's working, but we have some mixed content errors, it looks like, which is to be expected. There's, there's going to be something in here. So let's take a look, see what we can find here. And it's saying it is not secure, such as images. Okay. So we have some mixed content to fix. Okay, so I'm getting this mixed content error. So, and I actually, I think I know what it is. It is this, this icon. I think that's the problem. So I've, I've logged in and I'm going into my WordPress, into the dashboard. And I'm going ch to check that and change that. So it's delivered over HTTPS. So for mine, it's a widget. It's part of a widget. It's an image. So I'm going to click on widgets. And here, and for me, it's in here. And right here, this source, I'm going to just change this to S, add the S. Click Save. And now if I come visit the site again, and I have to put in the HTTP. S, HTTPS, colon, forward slash, forward slash, hit enter, boom. There's my green lock, served up right. No more, no mixed content. Now this is a real simple website, and it's only three or four pages, maybe five pages. And I went in already through the website to all the pages and just checked. Like here, here's the front page. And there wasn't anything in here. What I was looking for is I come up is um, making sure they're all relative links. Okay, so I can here click on this page. Here, here's one. It, might, it was HTTP in here, so I backed it that out and made it a relative link for a domain. This went in, because again, this is so small of a website, I just manually went in and changed everything. Changed all those to a relative links. And updated. And uh, that's it. Now there's one other thing I've got to do. So now that I know the HTTP is working. The HTTPS is working. Um, let's see what happens. Let's go over here. Let's check something here. Let's add this. Now let's serve it up over HTTPS. Let's see if it's compatible. If everything's working. There we go. We got the green light. No mixed content in on this page. It's all looking good. All right. I'm satisfied. Now, there's a couple other settings we need to change. First, we've got to go back into our WordPress. <clears throat> and we go into Settings. And under here, we have to change this now. We've got to add it, change it from HTTP to HTTPS, both of these. All right, and that's going to update all our permalinks and everything. Okay. And this is probably going to kick us out of here, and we're going to have to re-log uh, re in. So let's go. Let's go on. So we've changed this now again from HTTP for the WordPress address URL to HTTPS. Same here for site address. Added the S. Now I'm going to click on Save Changes. And it logged me out, so I'm going to log back in. 
So there we are, we're logged back in under HTTPS. Okay, now if we click on permalinks, see all our permalinks now will be delivered HTTPS. Also, this is the way you want your permalinks to be uh, structured as post name. For search engine optimization reasons, that's what I think is the best setting. Okay, there we go. So there's one other thing we need to do now. It's just now to force HTTPS. And the way I do that is I come over here. Well, I'm using Yoast SEO. And inside their tools, you can edit your HTT access file. So we got to put some code in there. So I'm going to go in here to Tools. Again, you can either, you can manually edit your HT your .ht access file also, and go to File Editor. And there's actually a couple things I'm going to want to change in here. I want to change this. I want to add my S to here for my sitemap. But here's where I want to, where I can access my HT access file. So I need to get a little piece of code. And that is here. Let me put this out here. I need this part of the code. Because my re rewrite engine is already turned on. So I just need these two lines. So I've highlighted Control C to copy it. And now your WordPress begins, WordPress ends. You just leave that, you go past. I got a couple redirects already in here, 301 redirects from back when it was an HTML site. So now I'm going to just go to the end of that. And I'm going to control V to paste it in there. And actually, what I'll do too, just so we know what that is, let me grab this. And that'll comment that out. So that's what we need there. Bring that up to there, and I'm going to say save changes. And I'm going to make the change now to my robots text file. Just add the S in here. Say save changes. And it should do it. Yeah, let's bring up a fresh browser and see if we get to it without adding any HTTPS or anything into it. So I'm going to open a new window and I'm going to go to www. That'll shows up. I'm going to hit enter. Boom. There we go. We got our lock. Security report identified, no errors. It forced it right over to HTTPS. Everything's working. So there you go. Now, all that's left to do on this site is I got to go over and make some changes to uh, add the HTTPS site to Google Webmaster and Analytics. And also on the Bing side, over at Bing Western Webmaster Tools, what you want to do is submit the HTTPS sitemap. You don't have to create a new profile for, for the domain. Just, just submit a new sitemap with the HTTPS for Bing. All right. Well, that should do it. For this uh, video, I hope you found it useful, and thanks for stopping by.